Most of the injuries that I see as an orthopedic surgeon are actually preventable, believe it or not. Falls are extremely preventable. One out of every three people over the age of 65 falls. And about 350,000 of those people end up breaking their hip. Out of those patients who fall and break their hip, one third die within a year. So if we can prevent a certain percentage of those patients from falling in the first place, well then they won't break their hip or they won't hit their head or they won't break something else. And not only can it save them from a fracture, but it can hopefully save their life. We actually have a very comprehensive fall prevention program here at Victory Sports Medicine and Orthopedics where the patient first answers a questionnaire. And if they answer any positives to the questionnaire, that indicates they're at risk of falling. So we'll go in the room, we'll talk to them about their questionnaire. We have a very, very simple screening procedure where they stand on a balance plate with their eyes open and their eyes closed on a hard surface. And then we put a cushion and they stand with their eyes open for 10 seconds, their eyes closed for 10 seconds. And the balance plate will measure how much sway they have. And depending on how much sway they have compared to people of their same age, we're able to tell if they actually have a true balance problem. That balance screen does not tell us where the problem's coming from. It just tells us that they have a problem. Now, if they do have a positive screen, we're actually able to do much more definitive testing in the physical therapy department. It's called VNGs, video nystagmography. And our physical therapists will run the patient through about a 45 minute test. They put goggles on, and when they put those goggles on, there's this light stimulus that'll go back and forth and up and down, and the patient will have to follow that. And that computer can figure out where the problem is coming from. So once our physical therapist knows exactly where the problem is, they can treat it much quicker, much more effectively, much more efficiently, and in much fewer visits. So in perhaps eight physical therapy visits or even less, we can get the patient better. We have them come back in, we rescreen them, and most of the time they've improved or normalized.